strengths of Roy is that it doesn't fit into any specific interior design trend. It's a little bit retro, it's a little bit modern, a little bit Scandi, a little bit Japandi. It's everything deep green. It's very simple in form. It's a simple curve. Uh, the veneer flows all the way around in one visually unbroken line. We wanted to do this because it's it's indicative of the, the construction and it shows how it's made. It's a very honest design. I I, I was uh, lucky enough to to get to um, to name this product, but the name of Roy came up about uh, because I was watching some shows on Netflix that was inspired by the '60s, and um, when when we saw the brief of Roy and the designs that came through, it kind of reminded me of, of the whole kind of 60s vibe. And so that's where Roy uh, came about. Our challenge with the Roy range was to create a beautiful product um, that blended the design with the KD function specifically without compromise so that we could reduce the logistics cost of the product for the customer by between 50 to 75%. The end product looks beautiful. It doesn't look cheap as a not done product. In fact, it looks, uh, we've, we've managed to enhance the um, uh, knockdown aspects of the product to, to make them into design features. It's also a great carrier for the deep green wood finishes. Pale oak would look great in this for a boho beach house vibe, whereas the brushed black ash that we're working on would be excellent for a more masculine and rough finish. It's a beautiful and strategic product that will enhance the home brands that we work with. So we hope you like it as much as we do. Thanks very much.